<laughs> you choose your <laughs> Okay guys, we're currently at Walt Disney World at Disney Springs. We have a big Disney Vacation Club day planned. Uh, there's a new welcome center that just opened here at Disney Springs. We're gonna kind of explore Disney Springs a little bit, see if there's any merchandise. Then we're gonna be heading to the private, exclusive Moonlight Magic. They have like no weights, specialty rare characters that are only here for the event. Let's head off to the welcome center first. So it's called Gateway to Discovery, a Disney Vacation Club welcome home center. But let's head in and see what it's like. All right, we're heading in. Magic door right here. Do we push the door? No. All right, we're gonna go to the villas. So there's three different things you can choose from. All right, so we just watched the Disneyland Hotel. Let's watch the Riviera. one the Disney collection Here, they have the model of the Riviera. You have the wonderful Skyliner station right there. And just seeing Topolinos, I'm just dreaming about those truffled mashed potatoes up there. This massive spinning globe, and it kind of shows you all the different places you can go for adventures by Disney. Stay magical year after year. Right, so they have like different sections. We'll go through each one of the little sections. So first one, this one is gonna be all about the DVC Resort, the Riviera. Experience the artistic elegance of the European seaside hideaway. Inspired by one of Walt's favorite vacation destinations. So they got some photos. Here's a fun little game where it kind of like talks about which animals from Fantasia are in the splash area. Elephants, hippos, and ostriches. A Topolino is Italian for which iconic Disney character, and that'll be Mickey Mouse. Yep. Mickey Mouse. Custom mosaic mural created from one million hand cut tiles featured scenes from which two films? Peter Pan and Tangled. There you go. What aerial transportation provides? Provides sweeping, sweeping views for Disney's Riviera Resort, the Disney Skyliner, Disney Cruise Line. Over here, kind of talks about all the different ships. So you got the fantasy, the wonder, the treasure. I cannot wait to experience that. The dream. 
the one that I've done, The Wish. I got a little booklet right here, talking about the cabins. This is the newest little Disney Vacation Club property. I got a little seating area, and we have some new buttons now with Chip and Dale for the cabin. And then for the Adventures by Disney, they have a little puzzle here, and you can make a cheetah. It almost looks like the cheetah is about to eat the zebra. All right, we finished a little DVC, a little center. Before we head off the moonlight, we're gonna pop into the Marketplace Co-op, see if there's any new merch. It's just kind of terrifying climbing out of this box. Oh, what is all this stuff? But this is all like the wonderful paint, pastel colors. It looks like it lights up. You're looking at $100 for the sculpture of Stitch. They have a sculpture of Hercules that Pain and Panic have uh, put some graffiti on, but this bust is gonna be $80. $30 for this trinket jar. It's too small for a cookie jar, so they call it a trinket jar. Now for $40, they have this pillow. It's reversible. On this side, it's gonna say, here comes trouble. And then on the back, they're gonna have all the different troublemakers. $50 for this chip garden gnome. That's interesting. We can finally see this month's pizza collection. $88 for this lounge fly. We'll use some Mickey pepperoni. And for $40, you're gonna have some matching pizza ears. And then for $80, they have this spirit jersey with that pizza on it. This almost reminds you of like a kind of like boils instead of like pepperoni on this shirt. It says Walt Disney World on the back. Right, they have a little photo op now with Orange Bird. Looks like he's seen some stuff. $60, they have this little dog bed. It's like one of the chocolate covered uh, caramel apples. $45 for this Mickey hot dog bookend set. That's interesting. $35 for this little Mickey popcorn container. $45. They have this bucket hat with all the treats on it. $400. I don't know why anybody would ever want this print. Very detailed, but terrifying. Just look at that clown, man. Terrifying. I'd like happier things, like uh, this little figment that just kind of looks like Courage the Cowardly Dog as a dragon for $229. This is a really nice print. $229. You have Tiana with her father right there cooking. And then uh, let's say goodbye to Chewie's Beast of a Dump Truck, and we're gonna head off to where Beastly Kingdom was supposed to be. Animal Kingdom for Moonlight Magic. Nice this way. Moonlight Magic. Moonlight well magic. Welcome home. Okay, guys, we're currently at Walt Disney World at Animal Kingdom. It is Moonlight Magic Night. If you don't know what Moonlight Magic is, if you buy resale points, you don't get to do this. But if you're an actual, like, full price DVC member, they have these special after hour events throughout the year at all the different parks. It's like all you can eat Mickey bars. The lines are really short. If you are a DVC member, you can invite friends with you. Uh, they got the signs. Welcome home, members. Uh, we got our special little wristband. We're in. Welcome we home, got. friends. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Don't thank. forget coupons straight ahead, okay? All right, thank you, Larry. All right, we got a special map. So they give you snack certificates to kind of redeem throughout the event. There's also Chester and Hester's oh. Fossil Fun game certificates. Okay, there's so many different rare characters throughout all of Animal Kingdom. You got Pocahontas and Miko, Friends of the Jungle Book, Flick, Rafiki and Timon, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, Donald Duck and Daisy, Kerchak, Kala and Turk, Tarzan and Jane, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Bernard and Bianca, Chip and Dale, Launchpad, McQuack with Darkwing Duck, with Scrooge McDuck. All right, since every single person here got multiple tickets to do the carnival games, there's just massive lines everywhere. The lines are out here just to play games that are in the center over there. This is insane. I've never seen something like this before. First ride of the night, Expedition Everest. The best thing about these events is there's no lightning lane. There's no Genie Plus. You just go ride the ride. 25 minute wait. I'm gonna probably say it's gonna be a walk on because everybody's doing carnival games. This is where they normally do the coin offerings, right? Somebody was throwing oranges there and they're all moldy. You know, this little Yeti looks like that little toy now. It's called like a fuggler. Okay, so now we know what happens when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles get into drugs. Um, this is the fuggler collection. All right, there's the footprint. The smoke effect is working on the train. Ah! <laughs> there we go. So terrified at night. And like you're just giggling the entire time because it's just pure joy. I can use the snack coupon here at the little ice cream stand. Okay, so we got the Yeti Sunday, so you can kind of get the specialty treat. So it's like a chocolate and vanilla soft serve with like some uh, blue sprinkles with like a little Yeti white chocolate. The soft serve is good because during normal hours, it's too hot. The machines aren't really built for that constant flow of just keep making ice cream. But this is like proper soft serve. Over here at the theater, um, it's kind of a long wait though. They have the uh, two characters from The Rescuers. Get a beautiful shot. Got the lights going, the projections on it. All right, so you're in a special mission today. What's the shirt that you're wearing? Bugs Life. A true gentleman right there. Thank 
Hey, Allison, we're almost there. Are you getting nervous? A little bit, actually. I didn't think I would be. Oh my gosh, there they are. Yeah. It is a pleasure to meet you too. So you've been our entire mission today because my girlfriend Allison loves you two both. Even her shirt right here. <laughs> you guys are the first oh two <laughs> on the shirt. And you're my favorite Disney princess. <laughs> and you're, you're my spirit animal. <laughs> you're, she's your princess. Does that mean you're a prince? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, we've met the two most important characters here now. Uh, we have 40 minutes left, so we gotta go to Pandora now. Look at your glow there. Flight of passage is a pretty long wait. 15 minutes, and Pandora is just so beautiful during the nighttime. The floating mountains, we're about to head in. They got the water running. All right, we're heading into the caves now. We're about to become a Navi. Pretty much just a walk on. The zero minute wait. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. fly. That is the best ride through a pad of that ride in years. It was not out of focus. Everything looked crisp and clear like opening day. I don't know if I just got lucky with a good pair of glasses, but I will say when you're in the waiting rooms, there's like burn-ins within the screens because the screens have been there for so long. Get eight minutes to make it over to Dinosaur. It's on the other side of the park. We got this. We have a special DJ out right now. Four minutes remaining. Four minutes remaining. We're not gonna make it. We, we made, made it. it. I'm Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Time Rover, an amazing vehicle that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's proprietary. But the result it's a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world where you will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you, and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Denied. Access denied. <laughs> Access denied. Continue. Access denied. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Access. Those locked coordinates? Access. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. <laughs> And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Let's roll! Into the toaster we go! Okay. Now, let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? It's Dyracosaurus. Not our dino. Good morning. 
Meteor shower in range. Just little one. Polyoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Watch the autopilot on homing signal now! Computer, full stop! Identify! Carnivorous. Definitely not our dino. Go! Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Asteroid impact in 60 seconds. We can't! Four-wheel drive! Boom! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? The launch pad. Darkwind Duck right there. Okay, on that note, it's time to head back to the office. Okay guys, we're back home. Let's talk about our little day, right? Our little DVC day, right? The center was really cool that they added at Disney Springs. So if people have more questions, they can just go in there and talk to the different cast members about Disney Vacation Club. And then also Moonlight Magic, one of the great perks of being a Disney Vacation Club member. So guys, let me know down in the comments, what were your thoughts about Moonlight Magic? Have you ever been? Which one is your favorite park? I've only done Magic Kingdom and now Animal Kingdom. I still have not done the other two parks. I think they also do the water parks for Moonlight Magic. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have that already hit the subscribe button join the family I love, I love the, the family. family because I'm going to keep you up to date on all things Disney World and theme parks around the country I love you all and I'll see y'all very soon they're not gonna make it how's that ice cream sir oh,